Linux kernel building is seeing some improvements and optimizations. A new patch being submitted to be merged into kernel 6.3 has been made and is directed to Linus Torvalds to help with the dreaded OOM or out of memory case that a lot of us see whenever building kernels with a lot of modules. Speaking on this particular patch, there's really three key things that were done in this submission. For a lot of us who've messed with building the kernel, we're all too familiar with the menu config that allows you to enable support for various different kernel modules or drivers based on whatever your particular system needs. And sometimes you need a lot of features. So when going through and loading a ton of these modules in the subsection, what will happen is when running the actual build, you may get very slow performance or even a crash. And mainly these two occur because whenever having so many modules, and saying yes to so much config, simply the build process isn't quite optimized when it comes to using memory and you run out of memory. Even personally, before when I've ran kernel builds, I've ran it on computers with more than 16 gigs where I've actually failed to build the kernel. Got a little smarter over the years and started using swap space in order to fill and build the kernel in case my physical memory overflowed. This works most of the time, I don't have a problem with that, but it is a slow process because when you start using swap space instead of physical memory, of course, you're going to have larger latencies and the speed is going to be slowed down whenever processing IO requests. Since you're accessing your solid state drive or your hard disk, which is much slower than accessing physical memory like RAM on your computer. Anyways, on that side note, let's talk about how this patch is going to help us. But before we get there, check out Delva.ai. Not sure how to start using AI for your business? Don't let your company fall behind. Start building an AI strategy today with Delva's AI Consulting. Schedule some time with Delva's AI Consultants and start integrating AI into your business. Again, check it out at delva.ai. There's a link in the description below. So basically some changes in this cycle include shrinking the destruct instruction, say that 10 times fast, improve object tool performance and memory footprint. So those were some of the goals. Work on other maximum memory usage reductions, this makes the build both faster, which is key, fixes the kernel build OOM failures, as we all know it, and they specifically cite something called all yes config. We'll come right back to that and similar configurations, which when they tried to build the final large VM Linux dot output file. So what are they talking about when it comes to all yes config? Well, for those of us that are not familiar, this is when you select absolutely everything to be installed all modules and drivers and support for pretty much all hardware that is currently compiled and built into the kernel version that you're running. So for those of us that aren't aware, instead of going through this menu, you can generate your own config file and you can set all yes config to true or yes, and that will build absolutely everything for you. And now we can understand why all yes config is so important to be mentioned. That means even when building everything, they're fixing the out of memory failures, which would most likely occur in that scenario. That's fantastic news. I've had scenarios, especially with all yes config that have used over 32 gigs of memory. I get away with this by using swap space because I don't have a computer with over 32 gigs of memory, but the config goes slower because of that. I'm very excited to see what happens with these performance updates and memory usage reductions. Anyways, Moving on to the next thing, fix ORC unwinding when can probe. Int3 is set on stack modifying single byte instruction. Push, pop, or leave. This requires the extension of the ORC, the ORC metadata structure with a signal field. So this looks like they added a new field called signal, which helps them with ORC unwinding. Other miscellaneous fixes and cleanups, thanks to Ingo. There's very helpful kernel devs and maintainers out there. So make sure to think one today as they devote their time and patience to bringing us an amazing kernel such as Linux and all with their own goodwill. Let me know if you're excited about this kernel patch in the comment section below. I know I am. This seems to be coming into kernel 6.3. If Linus accepts the merge request, I'll be keeping an eye on this one. Take a moment and subscribe below for more kernel updates as they come out so you stay on top of the latest and greatest in Linux. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.